Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about how we see things that have five spatial dimensions. So I've already talked about what we see when a 4D bean walks by, but how about a 5D bean? One thing to keep in mind is that a 5D bean can act and look exactly like a 4D bean if it wanted to. It will make sure that its T coordinates always stay at zero. But that's very hard. It would have looked exactly like a 4D bean, but what if its T coordinates change? We first have to go to what we know. So imagine that we were a 1D bean trying to figure out what we we would see if a 3D bean walks by. And instead of changing only its x-axis, it also changes its z-axis. It's obvious for us, but not for them. 1D beans can only see a small slice of what we see. If we somehow went to a 1D universe, then we would see just an extremely tall vertical line at the coordinates 0x and 0z. So what if we walked past the line, in other words, went through the 1D world? Since 1D beans would always be walking upwards or downwards, because, well, they don't even know which way they're walking because directions don't exist in 1D. And since we're always walking left, right, forward, or backwards, or up and down, but we can't really walk up or down. We would take up a lot of space in the 1D world. Let's say that our Y was 170 centimeters tall. In the 1D world, they would have to move a total distance of 170 centimeters. In their case, they wouldn't even know because their whole field of vision is just a single pixel. Each pixel they move, they would basically go through you. If those 1D beans were in a 3D universe, then they would get pushed into the third dimension, but it's not their case right now. We're in a 1D universe, walking past the 1D world. And let's say that they've been walking and they reached 130Y. They would see your organs, since 130Y would be somewhere in your chest or abdomen for at least a 170 centimeter tall man, but only part of them. If you were standing at 0x and 0z, then they would see the direct center of you, except 130y up. So let's say that a 130, let's say that at 130y was your stomach. They would see your stomach, but they would be at the direct center, since their x and z coordinates are forever zero, and so are ours at this moment. But as you walk, the 1D bean will start to see different parts of your insides then eventually your skin, then you will disappear, and everything will be normal again. Keep in mind that they can only see one single point and one pixel when this takes place. This description is only for 1D. But let's push the dimensions up by 2. Now the 1D person becomes a 3D person, and the 3D person is the 5D person. Again, the 5D person sees a straight line across its world, but it's more complicated than usual because one of their pixels are 2D. Refer to week 7's video. The 3D world would be at 0W and 0T. The X, Y, and Z would go on forever, just like how the Y did in the 1D version. And as the 5D bean walks through, it would be like a visit through a 5D bean, assuming that the 1D bean was very large. You will see all the organs of it a lot more clearly, since your world doesn't have a negative two-dimensional pixels. And the organs will strangely morph as it passes through, and suddenly, it just gets smaller and vanishes. It's very similar to a 4D bean, but when it moves across the W-axis, the organs will morph in a different way, because organs can't be the same in the W and T, like how our organs aren't exactly the same in the X and Z. 6D and up are very similar. The organs slash objects just morph in a different way, in a different axis that the bean is going through. That basically explains it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you now understand, please leave a like and subscribe. Feel free to comment if you don't. Next week, I will be explaining the string theory, and we'll be trying to find moments on the W, T, S, R, Q, P, or O axis changes by the tiniest bit to prove it right. Bye.